Holland will prove to be the fastest of the winches. The Belgian team of Philippe Cousin and Frank de Dobelier find the going painfully slow. while the Brazilians are forced to resort to brute strength. France, who won the 1986 Camel Trophy, haul their way to 12th place, but they're about to become the first victims of serious mechanical difficulties, breaking a Range Rover differential shortly after this special task. A brave blast through the glutinous mud by Canary Islanders Carlos Penko and Manuel Almeida. But it's all to no avail and they too are forced to get out and winch their way to the finish. With conditions improving as the task progressed, the Germans proved to be the first to power their way through without having to resort to the winch. Franz Alt and Jürgen Kelber triumphant. Italy, with off-road rally specialist Vincenzo Tota at the wheel, were next. For the Japanese, it was a case of foot down and point forward. And it worked, much to the delight of Toshiharu Urabi. Malaysians Halim Abdul Rahman and Si Ying He made third fastest time despite a few hair raising moments. This is the Spanish team of Jamie Puig and Victor Montan. They finished fifth best. Switzerland, that's Jean-Pierre Falci and Daniel Nicolier. And Turkey. Betting Cap and Kazim Ayer were slowest of the non-winchers in ninth. But with diesel turbo racing, it was the British team of George B and the oldest man in the event, Ian Chapman, who set the pace and grabbed the first special task win of the 1987 Camel Trophy. USA were still to come, but they could only manage fourth fastest over the 100-metre course.